Yo, yo, what is going on everybody? Gabriel Santos here. And I have a powerful piece of advice for those of you who are trying to live a better life and to ultimately have control of your pot use in such a way that it benefits you and those around you, right? So it's so simple, it's actually so simple, you might think it's too simple, all right? So look back in your history of marijuana use and think of two things. The first thing, think of all the times and the ways that smoking weed didn't serve you, right? Think of all the ways where, you know, the day after you're like, fuck, I should not have done that. That was not the right decision, okay? And once you collect all those different times, all those different moments, stop doing those. <laughs> stop doing, stop using marijuana in ways that are negative, right? And then the second thing, think of all the ways and all the times marijuana really served you in a positive way, right? Maybe um, uh, enjoying a, a joint with some of your closest friends, maybe um, using an edible to help you recover after a super long hike, um, maybe using it to meditate, whatever. And just like with uh, number one, once you discover all these different ways that you know weed helps you out, do more of that, all right? So I know it sounds so simple, right? Continue using it the way that serves you Stop using it the way that it doesn't serve you. So simple, right? So if, if you're the person who, man, when you smoke two days in a row, that doesn't work. Stop smoking two days in a row. If you're someone who, you know, if you make a plan to go seven days weed free, and if you always ditch that plan on day three, and you feel like shit afterwards, stop doing that. Right? If smoking on a schedule works for you, do that. If smoking blunts doesn't work for you, stop doing that. If using 10 milligram edibles works, do that, right? Basically my point here is stop effing yourself over and start cultivating the good parts of marijuana and rejecting all of the ways that hurt you. So simple, right? God dang it, so simple. If smoking in the morning doesn't serve you, stop doing it. If it does serve you, do it. If smoking before you go to bed doesn't serve you, stop doing it. If you feel like you're becoming dependent and that you're too emotionally attached to weed, stop doing it. If you feel like doing it once a week will have you have a sense of power and control, as well as the ability to enjoy marijuana still, then do that, All right? Now, here's really the one skill you need in order to implement this practice, this philosophy, this principle. You need to be able to follow up, follow through. You need to be able to follow through. Because this is what happens, right? Let's say that smoking after 5 p.m. doesn't work for you. But you have a history of using it after 5 p.m. to cure boredom or to feel good after work. If you know that it doesn't serve you, then it's on you to not do it. And if you continue doing it, then you have no one else to blame. And stop playing the victim card. If you're gonna do it knowing that it's gonna hurt you, then do it knowing that it's going to hurt you. But don't say, why did I do that? Why can't I stop? You can't stop because you don't want to stop. Just get real aligned with your actions. Oh, I want to give up on myself because this is too hard and I'm afraid to change. And just, there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, you're not proud of saying that, but that's what some of you guys are doing. That's what I used to do. That's what I do from time to time, you know? I'll say a plan and I won't follow through 100% and I have to really get honest with that. Like, no, it wasn't an accident that I didn't get to 100%. I made the decisions that didn't lead me there. That's all. No shame, no guilt. That's just what the case was. 
You don't have to go, I'm a failure, I'm a loser, I'm incapable, I'm addicted, ah, da, 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 da. Forget all that. Forget all that. Just get honest with really, oh, I'm, you know, I'd rather run to short-term pleasures than stick to a plan and follow through because I'm just, I'm just not willing, not willing to pay that price. And just get honest, man. No shame. No shame. And you know what you're going to find out as I find out, as I do, you know, it's like, oh, wow. Once you just get honest with yourself, then you can finally have a sense of power. Like. If you're gonna if you're gonna shy away from greatness, then just say it. Don't don't shy away from greatness and then say, "Why can't I do this?" No, 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 no. no. Just get real honest with yourself. Hmm. I'm not where I want to be because I am unwilling to pay the prices to get there. And just say it. Just get in alignment with it, and just that way you can stop like kidding yourself right like oh god like <sighs> anyways guys i uh, hope that message was valuable hope you had a great day hope you have a great week hope you had a great weekend and i'll see you guys in the next video peace